Exactly. Anytime I get three units, I waste more time chasing that third freaking piece than it's even worth. Yep. And if the minute is like, I mean, if you're doing a math on it, I mean, as far as like you and the going off, we could be going to the exact same place if it's a distance. Like, just say we're going to Tracy, right? Oh, I might be able to beat you there because of my motor. Yeah. Okay, but. I get a drop. Let's draw. just say I, I get there an hour before you. So you get there an hour after me. You're going to go there at the same time I am. Yeah, because I dropped my first one, so. Right, right. So I'm. But, but the point is, it's like the end of three days. You're ahead of me. I'm already, I'm already reloading two campers headed to another location while you're still dropping cars. Right, right, right. Yep. Oh, I figured that out. no boundaries that's supposed to be a 21 that's supposed to be a 24 but with these no boundaries they're always way bigger than what they say they are so we got them on there uh, that front one i think uh it's about a 5,000 pound gvwr and it's like eight on the back one so we're probably at like four and so we're probably around 10 to 11,000 pounds i would guess so i'd say overall we're somewhere in the 23 to 24 range overall but doing good so far i got my free hat i got uh, from hammerhead they do uh, a new company that does mud flaps and different things like that and they're legit built way better my cousin just put one on his truck and they they are nice way better than those ones like you grab at the Dooley, Dooley depot or whatever just made so much better but shout out to them for the free hat I did win two $50 Amazon gift cards today at the thing. They just drew my number, so I'm sure my wife will spend those. But uh, we still got some time on the clock. Like I said, we did that event today, and then we went and loaded up, and now we're driving. I think we may make it home tonight. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, Holly's out here just running around. We're doing our 30-minute break, trying to get her to eat, but see that's really working so we're gonna finish up here maybe there's a little trail goes around through the woods probably walk her around through there and let her burn off a little energy and we'll get back on the road get you guys a little while
Hey guys. We're at the rest area in South Carolina on 95, uh, 26, headed toward 95. Just came into South Carolina. It's almost three o'clock on Monday. We, did, we, we didn't leave early because we had to run a few errands and stuff this morning and we wouldn't have made a delivery today. So we'll get down there about 10 o'clock tonight. They open at eight in the morning. That'll give us our 10 hour reset. And then we'll uh, find something working on another load out of Indiana. So we'll find something back to Indiana back uh hopefully to alabama or somewhere so we just stopped here at the rest area stretch our legs we're in no big hurry checked everything on the truck make sure all the straps were good and tight and things going good so uh we'll be dropping this in jacksonville in the morning and then uh i'm waiting here back on this alabama run right now if i get it then we'll just put something going all the way back to indiana but we'll go from Jacksonville back home to Indiana. So we'll spend Tuesday night at home. So just gonna give you guys an update on what we were doing that we're back on the road. So uh, everything's good to go and we're gonna get out of here. It's hot down here in South Florida. Big time. Got that one unloaded. That one's unloaded. If you ever come to Traveler Camp, Jacksonville, Florida, see what the lot looks like. Horrible to get in and out of it. Horrible. Just buttoning to make sure everything was buttoned up before we pulled out here, because we are done. We are headed to Waycross, Georgia. We're gonna pick up a car going to Tennessee. Should be able to pick and drop today. Be home tonight. And then off to Indiana tomorrow. I'll get back with you guys shortly. Uh, Sherrod van lines again when we picked up that ram that time they uh picking up this 2021 f50 f150 that they've lifted and all that too where they customize the trucks here and it's going up to cleveland which is on the way home so pretty nice looking truck but i can tell you i wouldn't want to pay what they're going to ask for it sticker on the truck's 5611 uh 56 115 before they do anything to it. God knows how much they want for it now for a 70 or $80,000. It's a nice truck, but it's just F-150. So we're gonna get this thing loaded up, get out of here. Uh -huh. 